好了。<laughs> Why? I just want some candy. Ah, uh, you look like you look like I caught the dog doing something. <laughs> if you weren't sitting I here, I was trying to chew it before you started. If you, if you weren't sitting here, you'd be running to the back door. <laughs> All right. Uh, how I truly feel. Weight loss surgery diaries, and we are starting the video with tears on our pretty little face. Ah, I thought she was super so happy. I feel like it's super important that I share this because I'm sharing all of my journey to get weight loss surgery. And why are your headphones I, in? I don't know why, but I just have this overwhelming... She was looking at her Titanic and that Celine Dion song was playing. <laughs> Fear, because it's like, I anything? am getting weight loss surgery. Oh, uh, I am going to do anything again. I can and everything <laughs> I can to have it happen. But like, I'm scared. And it's like last time... You know, I had surgery, and the only time I've had surgery was because I had cancer. I had a hysterectomy, and it was scary, and it was terrifying. And the anesthesia um, made my, my face swell a lot. Um, I think I had a really bad allergic reaction. I don't know. Um, they well, didn't really say You'll be okay, because you will tell the doctor that, and they will use some other combination. They have more than one kind of anesthesia for people that have allergies to one or the and other. And I'm pretty sure you would know if you had an allergic reaction to anesthesia because you would have not been able to breathe and all that stuff just because your face got swollen. I don't think that... Yeah, this is a weird thing to be like, oh, I'm, I'm super scared now. You don't think. Say anything about it. They actually said the surgery went amazing. But like, I have a little anxiety right now. Um, I know it's... Anxiety? Not we got anxiety. Anxiety. Anxiety in the build. That's gonna be my rap name. <laughs> it's gonna happen for a while. Like, there's a lot of things I still have to do. But like, just knowing that it is going to happen, it's just bringing up a lot of like past memories with like when I had my hysterectomy and. But you were okay. And you'll be okay this time. Uh huh. You were. You'll be okay. Uh huh. The doctor said it went great. Uh huh. And you were okay. Uh huh. But anxiety. Anxiety. You know. Things can happen during surgery that are first. really scary. And that's just me being realistic. Um, not even pessimistic at all. Like, I've been so optimistic about this whole experience, but... Realic realistic, pessimistic, and optimistic. I thought she's going to, like, the best surgeon in the country, who's the best of the best, who even has robots that do the surgery because he's so the best. So she should not be afraid of this. She's not going to some Tijuana doctor. You're the best. You're going to be okay. When you start looking at like the reality of things and it's a little scary and it's a little daunting and I just, I do have like a little bit of a fear and I just had a little. You know what it is? She's scared that she's going to blow through it like a uh, fat Republican. Christy. Yeah, Chris. She's afraid she's going to blow through it like Chris Christie. I would no, be so terrified of that too. I, I would, I'm, surgery's scary, but she'll be okay. Bit of an anxiety attack. It was a mini one. I don't know. I just, um. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. And I am impatient because I just want this to get over with. I just, I wish that more than anything, I could just snap my fingers and it's like three months after surgery, you know? Because I feel like three months after surgery, like that'll be a really good spot. You know, I'm like healed, you know, I'm off the liquid diet. Um, I'm okay. getting it. I thought I could be sneaky and have this window open, but it's just. It's a windstorm outside. It is quite the wind. The swing of things. I just have um, a little bit of fears. And that's okay and that's normal like if you're getting weight loss surgery or something you're thinking of or whatever it may be um if you're scared just know that it's normal you know and yeah i just i don't know it's crazy because obviously when people get surgery it's to save their life is this pity party no this no. is i mean i get being scared you haven't even set the appointment yet you still have a lot of steps to go before you're at the point where i'm i'm crying i'm terrified this is happening <laughs> But it's like, last time I had surgery, it was because I was saving my life, and they took cancer out of my body. Well, and you assume they did. Huh. This time, like, it'll be again to save my life, to prolong my life. And it's like, why did it take me so long? You, well, now, you that know, is a thing to cry about. Now, you know you could have been making steps in the uh, right direction since. Yeah, this is definitely a thing to cry about. Why did I waste so many years of my life doing this instead of better choices? To get to Absolutely a point where I cared this much. Why did it take so long? It just took too long. And it's like, I keep going back to the past. Like, you know, I like... And now, it, it what's what should be scary and terrifying is that this is literally your only choice now. 
Yeah. Because you've had years and years to prove you can change the way you eat, and you haven't. So this is it. Yeah, this is the last, chat, last chance you have. This I like it. to watch old vid no videos online. It's like, I don't think I've ever seen myself this passionate over weight loss and how bad I want to live. No matter how hard this is and how many times I have to say no to bad foods and to overeating and to triggers, no matter how many times I have to say no to those things, it's all worth it. It's true. Like, as long as you're, you know, saying no. I feel like this is just trauma dumping on YouTube. You could you could write in your journal about this. This we did not need to turn on the camera to to film this. I think you're right. Like these these are completely valid feelings. But why are you putting this on YouTube? Like I'm not perfect by no means. Like I'm not just over here like being the most perfect. Um, there has been one time where I <laughs> didn't say no, and that happens. That's also realistic. But the changes I've made in the last few weeks, it just takes one day. It just literally takes one day for you to just be like. I'm fucking done. I'm done killing myself because that's what I've been doing. And I just regret more than anything in having to get to this point. I, I bet you do. Yeah, I feel that. I get it. If I could go back and talk to myself when I was 13, that 13 year old, she needs love and she needs compassion and she needs people to love her <laughs> and she just didn't have that she didn't and uh things just started spiraling when i was a teenager you know i reached 420 pounds when i was 16 and that was like not surprising <laughs> at all sorry i just uh really felt like i needed to talk <laughs> and i didn't want to like talk to wake up your girlfriend yeah anyone in particular um i just wanted to talk to my camera and talk to you guys and have this moment be documented because it's part of it tears are part of this journey and fear is part of this journey regret and anger it's all part of it and i'm not going to shy away from any of that and i'm not going to let any of the people online who make me feel bad about feeling these emotions i'm not going to let them stop me from sharing these feelings because this is my story and I want to share it with you guys because for like the first time ever, I know. Okay, that's fine, but you can't get mad about people talking about your story. No, yeah, that's true. That I'm going to lose weight. I seem to remember you shitting on plenty of people sharing their story. The Slaytons, etc. Mm. And I know that I'm changing my life and that my life is going to be better. I've never wanted it more. Ever. But I'm just scared. I'm scared of like... Who am I outside of someone who weighs over 450 pounds? You know, who am I outside of that? You have to I figure that out now. <laughs> yeah, you can't have your entire... It's, it's hard to change your entire life. You, you're going to be a different person now. That's what it is. And you won't know that until you get there. But afterward, you just have to do better, make better choices. Yep. I don't know. And that's weird for me. For longer than I can remember, just been this person. Like, since I was 16, I've been over 400 pounds. And yeah, there was a moment in my early 20s where um, I reached 331. That was the lowest. It was just like a little tiny, tiny piece of my story. And um, it was because I was very unhealthy then. And it's like, the way that I would eat then was very unhealthy. And um, I was practically starving myself for a little bit. And I, I have shared that before. It's like, I can't even be proud of that moment because the way that I was doing it was so unhealthy. And yeah, there are bad ways to lose weight. Uh -huh. I was, I was just in a dark spot and I can't even be proud of that moment. I can't at all, but I'm going to be able to be proud of this one because I'm, I'm doing it and I'm doing it right. And right. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it because I love life and I love, it's not even like the big things. It's not. I love lamp. <laughs> I love desk. Brooke, are you just naming things in the studio? <laughs> I love lamp. Not even like, I love love and I love family and I love my fur babies, but it's like small things. I love blankets and music and fireworks and holidays. Like, I love the small things. And I just don't want my life to stop. Okay, you're losing me here. I don't. There's an after school and special here. I also don't want it to continue with me being this unhealthy. I know I can fix this. I know I can change this. And yeah, 
I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this actually. <laughs> if you guys see this, then I decided to. Anything she uploads, if she records five minutes of footage, it's getting, or five seconds of footage, it's getting put in the vlog. Probably. It's yeah. getting put up on YouTube. This is a nine minute rant. This is going up on its own. Run mid rolls on this bad boy. Yeah, this is something I would have left off. I mean, I get she wants to share the thing, but she's getting a little overboard with it now. Upload it. Oh. And again, I just want to make it clear I am not knocking the hustle. I'm just letting you guys know the thought process. Yeah. Obviously, duh. My face is breaking out. <laughs> Topic change. We're right here. We're right here. We have a little something here. Right next to. I used to have my um, lips pierced. I had snake bites, which was a piercing here and a piercing here. And it's okay, really much. My psychologist appointment is actually coming up. Um, I'm gonna be evaluated, and I'm really, really nervous but excited to get this over with because I feel like they're gonna really tell me like what I need to do to help appear. I just want to do whatever they tell me. Really, I think I'm gonna put on. I don't know some youtube or something and do some more legos and kind of just um have a good rest of the night um felina is actually currently sleeping no she can't hear me she actually has um sister wives playing um while she's sleeping so i don't know if you guys can hear that in the background but she's on the other side of the apartment um she can't hear me at all but yeah i didn't want to like wake her up and like bombard her with my tears i actually feel so much better after talking to you guys it's so crazy okay. how just like talking to you guys you guys so it, it talking was to you guys she's literally talking to herself it was a trauma dump mm-hmm it can it just helps a lot it's just like i felt super heavy in my chest with emotion and uh-huh mm. mm. <laughs> i told you guys those emotions so now i feel better so thank you thank you for uh, listening to me and for being my friends you didn't have to click on the video and you did because you wanted to hear me from what i had to say i think that's also what makes it easier is because like i don't i'm very uh, i used to be such an open book with people in my life and now i just like i keep a lot of things to myself and i don't know what it is i just i don't want to burden people thank you, you can tell me 500 different times that i'm not a burden and i just i still feel like <laughs> one <laughs> trauma no um but it's like if you guys click on my video you can you would see the biggest gift would be from me. hear yourself so i don't feel like a burden does that make sense because you guys are choosing to listen to me i don't even know what i'm saying anymore um it makes sense in my head and i used to do a lot of like video diaries like when i first started youtube like 2014 style i started i started youtube in 2015 but 2014 i used to... i have no i had no clue what she has said yeah, I don't know. to do like um, talking with Amberland videos is what I called them, I think. And then just like a lot of video diary type style things. And this is literally what you're doing. This, this right now. video. They always made me feel better. So oh, it's, I, it's in the title, diaries. <laughs> might be back into that if you guys are interested. If I just feel like I need to talk and I don't want to particularly talk to anyone in particular. <laughs> I just kind of want to like document how I'm feeling. So it's kind of like a video diary. We can start a series. <laughs> we can call it the weight loss surgery diaries. Um, so if you see that in the title, then I decided that. But if you don't see it in the title, then I thought that was a stupid uh, idea. Yes. It's a stupid idea regardless. Or is it a stupid idea? <sighs> Why am I so mean to myself? <laughs> That's a whole other story. Skip. And it's like, no one else can call me fat. That's not okay. But I can call myself fat. Just like... What? No, you've called other people fat, Amber, so you kind of threw that yeah, opportunity no, away. There's nothing wrong with acknowledging reality from anyone. You you call other people fat, so you can't get mad when they call you fat. It's Wait, reality. And besides, I thought that like the word fat was being like taken back by the positivity movement and it's not a <laughs> negative word anymore they're like embracing it now it's never been a negative word it's been a descriptor right it's like no one else can make cancer jokes but if i want to make a freaking joke about an experience that i had uterine cancer yeah, amber you don't run a monopoly on cancer jokes fat jokes or any of the above just you gotta let that go right and it's like you know what if long... i own the vocabulary no one else can use it it, 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 unless you're going, ha ha, is stupid, got stupid, cancer, fat cancer, nah. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not nice. That's not funny. You probably shouldn't say that. So just to be clear, you probably shouldn't go you around saying, hey, hey, ha ha, stupid cancer. But no, you, you you can make a cancer. There are hilarious cancer jokes. There are hilarious everything jokes. Literally everything can have an hilarious joke, and it's the, that it's there, a joke that makes it okay. There's a difference between making a joke and making fun of somebody, and I don't think Amber sees the difference. No. Everything she takes personally. Feel better. Yeah. Do it. But it's like, I, other people can't do that. That's rude and offensive. Um, I think that goes for like a lot of different ways. Like, if you're gay, if you want to make Not really. No. Uh-uh. A gay everybody joke over it, because there are people out there who, who do that, who you are gay, who make gay jokes. I'm a lesbian, so... 
Yeah, the, the, it's offense is never given; it's only taken. Yep, that's okay. But I don't get offended with stuff like that. Like I don't get offended with gay jokes or anything like that. Um, but the minute someone says something, wow, I completely forgot Amber was gay. I was gonna be like, well, you shouldn't right. because so gay jokes are okay, fat jokes are not okay, cancer jokes are definitely not okay, but gay jokes are fine. Amber, you got to have some consistency here. Thing like out of pocket about cancer, that's when I really get offended. Or if people like call me fat, then I'm like that's not really okay just because i do it to myself does not mean that you can do it like it's crazy um i nobody says anything about you you haven't said about yourself because here so many people are like their own worst enemy and they call themselves ugly it's like everyone i know thinks that they are ugly and i'm like bro you're not ugly like everyone i know and it's like they sit there and call themselves ugly but like is it okay if someone would call them ugly like no it's not okay yeah at a certain point if your friend at 35 years old is like oh, i'm so ugly at a certain point after hearing it for the 18th time that week, you're going to be like, yeah, you're fucking ugly. Shut up. I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're ugly. Fine. Shut up your stupid, ugly face. <laughs> like, just because you can make jokes about yourself or you can think things about yourself um, doesn't mean that other people can do it to you. Because um, in the past, I have seen that, like, in my comment section. We're like, well, you call yourself fat, so why can't we? What? <laughs> That's not how life works. That's not how it goes. That is literally yeah, how is. life works. I mean, this is America. We have freedom of speech. We can literally say anything we want. To don't anybody, get, anytime. Don't get you sleeping up. It's, it's also just like a respect <laughs> thing and just like morals. No, okay. we're not singing against stop. <laughs> what, what did Scribe call me? The autistic jukebox? Yes, I'm rambling. accurate. Wow. Um, ramble diaries, should we call this? No, I'm definitely going to call this the weight loss surgery diaries or something to that effect because like I, I do my weigh-ins. You guys have been seeing that where that is like strictly, you know, my five mm. questions and then the weigh-in for the week. Me and then jokes, I do not Gray. It's inappropriate. <laughs> it's offensive to trans cats and fox, <laughs> which you guys have seen those as well and i talk about furries are very offended sam is somewhere seething a lot of weight related stuff within my blogs also uh, weight loss surgery stuff but like if i just want to sit down and just word vomit about how i'm feeling or weight loss surgery like that type of stuff then we're gonna call that a weight loss surgery diary because in my opinion this isn't a vlog this isn't a weigh-in this is just feelings and rambles and a lot of stuff that just <laughs> razor fist rant probably doesn't even need to be put online but it's it's this is what makes me feel good talking to you guys and i just feel so much better as you guys can tell like i was crying when i started this video you guys just see me what i couldn't tell me before i turned on the camera like i said i had a little mini anxiety attack and i was just having all these like thoughts and it was a lot and now my eyes are dry my cheeks are dry and i have a smile on my face and talking to you guys helped with that so okay we're done good oh, boy. guys do the thing to like the share the whatnots if you don't i'm gonna find it incredibly offensive and i'm calling the police thank you <laughs>